Sophie, and I'm going to be showing all of you that are stuck at home how to make your day a little bit brighter by showing you how to make a single size serving chocolate chip cookie, microwavable, and you only have to do it for about a minute and six seconds. So let's get to it. First of all, you're going to need your ingredients. So we have butter, two tablespoons of butter. And now we're going to put our two tablespoons of butter in the microwave and soften it for 12 seconds. Magic. And now we have our softened butter and you can see that it's only melted just a teeny bit and that's the perfect consistency. Next, we are going to be adding sugar. Keep in mind that you don't want to put in the brown sugar. Make sure that you put in the white sugar. Now I'm going to have my lovely assistant Matthew put this away. Okay. Next, we need to add two pinches of salt. One, two. We are going to need our brown sugar. We're going to only need one tablespoon for this. And you're going to make sure that you get it flat. Now we are going to be adding one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And you want to make sure that you have a fourth on at least one of your measuring spoons. to be adding a fourth tablespoon of vanilla and it doesn't matter what sort of vanilla you use whether it's store-bought or homemade and then we have all of this and we're going to want to mix that together You want to mix it around a lot. Try to get the butter crushed up as much as you can. If you can't get it all, that's fine. And then we are going to be adding three tablespoons of flour. And then, it wouldn't really be chocolate chip cookies if we didn't add in the chocolate chips. <laughs> and you can add in as many chocolate chips as you want, but how I make it is I add in two tablespoons of chocolate chips. going to want to stir all of that together okay. 
and you're just going to stir that together until it feels nice and like clumpy basically. Want to make sure that you get everything off the sides. And then you're going to scrape it off of whatever you utensil you're using. And then you're going to scoop off whatever excess is on your fork and finger. And then you're going to put it into your mouth. And then you're, when you have your cookie dough all mixed, first you're going to want to wash your hands. That way, um, if you're making this for someone else, so you didn't get any saliva into the chocolate chip cookie dough, which could make someone extremely sick. Then you're going to want to smush it down. Okay, this is a little bit stickier, so we might have to add in just a teeny bit more flour. it's not the right consistency you wanted like if it's too sticky then you can add in a little bit more flour to like to like tighten it up basically Just gonna flatten it down. Doesn't have to be completely flattened if you don't want it to. And you don't have to fill in all of the gaps either. You can like leave a little bit of space because keep in mind that when it's in the microwave, it will puff up and spread out. Matthew. Shh. And now you're going to want to put it in the microwave. Um, you can put it in the microwave for up to a minute and 10 seconds. But I usually do like about a minute and 7 seconds. Because it, like, it makes it, like, it makes it like soft, but also like a little bit hard. And now we're going to be checking it out of the microwave. And as you can see, it will be like bubbling, but that's completely normal. You just have to give it a little bit of time to cool off. And then optional thing to put on top of this would be like ice cream or like basically like any sweet dairy product. And once it simmered down, it will still be a little bit hot, and that's why ice cream is optional. If you like your chocolate chip cookies really warm, then you can just like eat it now. And um, but if you like like your chocolate chip cookies like a little bit cooled, you can put ice cream on it. So that's all for today, and I hope that y'all have a great time. So see ya.